the last trait. They trusted that they could learn something from every experience they faced. I'd like to tell you a story about a guy. He was raised in the Kirkwood area in Atlanta, pretty rough place. In his family, there were 14 people in a two bedroom house. He got an opportunity to sleep in a bed one time out of the week. And when he did, it was with five other family members. Three at the foot of the bed, three at the head of the bed. He had eight uncles in that house that were in and out of prison. He had decided pretty early in his life that he wanted to make it to the NFL so that he could change his family situation. Fast forward, he ended up being a really good high school athlete and was recruited by the University of Tennessee. While on his recruiting trip, he had toured the campus and had seen all the nice sights during the day. The day had gone by and by that evening, they were leaving this nice steak restaurant. And his host said to him, there's a party party, a barbecue, and a basketball game tonight. Which one would you like to go to? He told his host, man, if you don't mind, can you take me to my hotel? His host looked at him crazy. He's like, are you sick? He was like, nah, I'm not sick. What his host didn't understand was that that night at the Marriott would be the first time that he would get to sleep in a bed by himself. He didn't care about a sorority party, a barbecue, or a basketball game. He got in his room, he called his boys back in Kirkwood. He said, man, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Y'all boys gotta go to college. Then he paused and he said, you get your own king size bed. <laughs> that story is about Inky Johnson. Inky went on to play football for the University of Tennessee and was, was pretty good. The semester before he was about to be drafted to the NFL, he had a tragic injury to his neck and spinal cord, which caused his right arm to be paralyzed. He made it through it alive, and he now uses the Kirkwood and football experiences to help him change a generation. He makes an impact on the world. He is now one of the top motivational speakers in the world. He has used his experiences to not only benefit him, but to benefit his family and his loved ones. His three little cousins that he grew up with in that two bedroom house with 14 people went on to college and are doing big things as well. Know that there's a blessing in every lesson. You just have to find out what it is and use your experiences to make an impact.